In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faith will offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience. So they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are the judgments, and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given him anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him are all things. To God be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it, and the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, when you hold a lunch or dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul writes to the Romans this morning that just as they have been shown mercy, even when we have disobeyed, we must then show mercy to others. Jesus in today's gospel speaks to those with whom he dines, saying, in essence, when you hold a lunch or a dinner, 
Do not invite those who may invite you back as repayment, but invite those who cannot repay you. Our readings today remind us that the wisdom and knowledge of God far surpasses all human understanding. Because of that, we are called to reach out to everyone around us, not just close friends and relatives. God desires his mercy to be shown to everyone, especially those who are not able to repay us. And so it is important to remember that God's wisdom transcends our wisdom, transcends our understanding, and is not limited to what society thinks. The message of the gospel is to go out to all. That is what God desires. Are we carrying out the desire of God or are we falling short? That is the question we must ponder this morning as we reflect on God's word. Everyone is invited to the table of the Lord. Everyone finds a home in this house. This is God's house. And we are called to carry out his will. As we listen, oh, the depth and riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. That is so powerful to think about, my dear brothers and sisters. The wisdom of God. Where we fall short, God does not. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we pray, as we receive our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy Eucharist, may we ask that we may be given the strength to invite all to the banquet to invite all, especially those who are unable to repay, to love as he loves, to show mercy as he shows mercy, to show mercy as he shows mercy to us. Mercy is not limited just to for the forgiveness of sins. Mercy is also found in compassion, tenderness, and kindness. May we pray that we may go out of our comfort zone to do his will. And so my brothers and sisters, may that be our prayer, that we embrace the wisdom and understanding of God. Confident that the Lord hears our prayers, we offer him our needs and petitions for Pope Francis and all bishops, priests, and deacons. May the Holy Spirit be their guide in preaching the word of God with conviction and charity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may the Holy Spirit lead and guide all government officials in enacting right and just laws that respect the sanctity and dignity of all life, we pray. For all who are sick, suffering, or enduring any kind of hardship, may the graces of the sacred heart of Jesus give them comfort and strength, we pray. For this faith community, may the word of God dwell deep within our hearts, inspiring us to serve the needs of one another with great love and care. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon enter into the fullness of eternal life with the Holy Trinity, we pray. For the intention of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being offered for the intention of all the holy souls. 
we pray. Merciful and gracious God, hear our prayers that we place before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, your work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Christ. The body of 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 Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, angel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. 
And do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who pry about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Rosit, coronavirus, singulis. <laughs> 